Hey, it's Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol KOOL. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to do this time frame. I think there's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price. And in this situation makes mapping out a very logical question quite straightforward. And that question revolves around the fact that today was a, a very solid move. Now, sure, it did pull back here a little bit, but even with that, where it closed today relative to where it was yesterday, everybody could agree, good solid move. But that does bring up, a, a like I said, a legitimate question. Is there any sort of true power behind this price movement? Is there any sort of genuine strength or is this just some sort of knee jerk reaction, dead cat bounce type move? I have no idea, but like I said, by using charts, we can make answering that question very straightforward. And in my mind, it all revolves around a single level. And that single level is that pink line down there, which is the famous 200 period simple moving average. Even if you have just a surface deep understanding of charts, I'm sure you've heard of the 200 period simple moving average and know that it's uh, you know just one of those important levels that's pretty much on all charts. And the reason that is so important is, and I'm, I'm assuming we can agree on this logic, that price movements with true power, with genuine strength, the price is gonna progress forward. The price is not gonna go back to where it was. I'm assuming you're saying, hey, thanks, Captain Obvious. Of course, if a price movement is truly strong, it's not gonna go back to where it was. So with that in mind, think about the, uh, you know, that pink line there, which is valued at $2.93 currently. Any sort of closes below it or worse yet, if the price separates to the downside, what is that doing to the price? That's putting the price right back to within this channel where it already was. Again, going back, not a sign of true strength. Whereas let's say the price pulls back here, bounces around wherever that pink line is, and then heads back up. What would you have in this situation? Well, you'd have a set of lows right here. You'd have this set of lows down there. If you picture each one of those as stair steps, well, hey, the stair steps are progressing in the upwards direction. And again, that's what truly strong moves do, right? They make progress in the upwards direction. Ideally speaking, I mean, Clay, what would make this chart look the absolute strongest going forward? If the price can stay up above $3.40, that would be the best case scenario. But I'm not saying if the price drops below $3.40 that everything's totally ruined or anything like that. But that would be best case scenario. What about levels of resistance? First off, yes, $4.80, you know, this range up here is technically a level of resistance. But before you even think about talking about that one or anything like that, bulls first got to get back above this area right here on the chart, right around $3.90, you can see. Got somewhat close to it there, directly knocked it down right there. So yeah, up there, four, you know, 480, that'd be the fun one to talk about. But before you start talking about those points, $3.90 initial area of resistance. No doubt about it though, very nice day today, big volume. So it'll be interesting to see if the bulls can build upon this momentum going forward. One of the most popular questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together this free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then by all means, click right there to get access to the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point, And like I say, it is free. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.